Greetings, this is Robert Forsh. I wanted to go ahead and show you the, um, the numbers for today, September 26th. This is what we're looking at for the tidal activity and uh, the sun and the moon. Interesting, look at the times. Yeah, pretty amazing. Now, uh, that's how the moon looks through the iPhone 10. Um, let's uh, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like through the iPhone 10, through the Nikon P9, or actually the P1000. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in in real time and show you what that looks like. I've got some really important information to cover today. Uh, basically, that reality exposes the global lie. There we go. And I've got a lot of a lot of photos of this, uh, the moon, up close, up close and personal. Uh, the sun is approaching right now. Let's um, just wanted to say, hey, good to see y'all. <laughs> Let's uh, drop it down a little bit. Um, I have the YouTube channel Eternal Perspective. I'm trying to drive as much activity as I can that way for a very important reason. And that's because I've got a lot of content there to help show you. And uh, there's, there's my contact info. Feel free to call me anytime you like. Um, is, this, uh, is this reality? Is this even possible for fishermen to walk out on the beach upside down in Australia. No. Photographers like me to be upside down in relationship to other photographers on the beach. No. It's not even possible. It's not reality. It's not how this works. It's not how any of this works. I uh, made a page today uh, called uh, basic, uh, rea hashtag reality exposes the global lie. I'm going to go ahead and grab my camera. I'll be right back. Actually, I'll, I'll have my camera in a minute. Uh, this is one of the things that I wanted to show you. Uh, the container is completely full. On the bottom, we're looking at liquid oxygen and hydrogen. Up above, we're looking at the atmosphere. Does water curve? Absolutely. It's all curved down here, baby, but it's flat right there. Reality exposes the global eye. Are you, are you tired of getting beat up by people that you know are deceived? Oh, yeah, me too. So what I'm here to do is to help give you appropriate ammunition uh, that you can lay on anybody. I don't care how many letters they have around their name, digits in their bank account, what they're driving, who thinks they're wonderful. None of that matters. Reality exposes the global lie. You can hashtag it. Like my page if you want. If you've been following me for a while and you want to comment on my stuff, well, you can like my page and comment there, I believe. Right now, only friends can comment on my, uh, my personal uh, public profile simply because it gets too complicated with uh, artificial intelligence and, and a whole bunch of deceived individuals that want to save the world from uh, uh, deceivers that they believe that we are as, uh, as biblical creationists or flat earthers. So, uh, answers in Genesis. Hope you're paying attention. You got it wrong. You got Genesis wrong. That's for sure. I'm going to go uh, put my... Let me uh, just show you one more time. Uh, it'll do this all over the face of the earth. Take a bath and uh, contemplate life. I did today at about um, uh, 2.30 this morning. Took about an hour bath. Shower afterwards relaxing in the tub the water seeks its level it's just what it'll do up oh, can i make it stay upside down nope it'll do that time and time again i'll be right back
Okay, so for the um, live broadcast right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in on this. Oh, my camera shut off. Here we go. The P1000 is an awesome camera, and I'm going to zoom in tighter, uh, and then I'll merge this with the live broadcast later. And what you'll be able to do, this is for both audiences right now, is to see the, the difference in the, in the two technologies, the P1000 and also the, uh, the iPhone 10. But it's not just the, the device itself, it's how it's uploaded to the, uh, the internet, to the cloud. What I'll be doing with uh, both videos is loading them up into YouTube. That's a big deal. And when I uh, hashtag a title, I'm going to hashtag. Uh, base, I'm going to hashtag. Reality exposes the global lie. Uh, when people are ha see my hashtags and they say, "Can't can't you just give an answer?" I I don't believe they're clicking on the hashtag to see that I've got a lot of content there. That's my that's my way of putting my link in the group. If I, if I just go and copy and paste a video into one of uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson or Joe Rogan's videos or Bill Nye, it gets flagged, it doesn't go up, nobody even sees it. I hashtag something or make a provocative statement like reality exposes the global lie and it really, it pisses people off. Good, good, they should be. But they shouldn't be pissed off at me. They should be upset with the reality that they've been lied to and believed it. Well, I was, rely I was lied to and believed it. It all started with that whole Santa Claus thing. When I bought the worldwide delivery of uh, all the presents in one night. The logistics are impossible. We found that out. We know that. We know that that's not possible that's not reality. So what, I, what I'm endeavoring to do is to help empower individuals to go ahead and, and expose this reality. When, when I hashtag a video, create a, a video and go ahead and put it out there for people to see, 
Well, it's entering into a lot of other content as well. Gravity is a uh, part of the global deception. It's part of the science fiction. It's not actually real. Centrifugal force makes water fly off. Uh, buoyancy, differences in density and mass, uh, cause to happen what you're looking at right now. The water seeking its level. That's what it does all over the face of the earth. We don't have any pictures of rain falling upside down in relationship to people and rain anywhere else in the world. Doesn't happen. That's not real. That's science fiction. Hashtag NASA lies. See what you get. You'll get a, a tremendous amount of content that exposes the reality that NASA is a deceptive organization not to be trusted. That's why I hashtag it. Somebody gives me a lot of heat for, uh, for uh, hashtagging. It's simply uh, tap, uh, filling a reservoir with my content that lets people know some other very important information. No matter how many of the realities that you get right, the most important reality is to make sure that you're actually born again. Much of what's wearing the name of the Christian community is unaware that the globe is a lie. And what's so disturbing is when they're told to look into it and they casually or vehemently, I would say vehemently, uh, look at us as deceivers, like the enemy. I was denied access to the Creation Ministries International uh, conference in Myrtle Beach and the hatred I could see on that man's face and the contempt was alarming. Well, they're deceived. They're deceived. Oh, well. Reality exposes the global lie. That's how that works. The water seeks its level, covers the face of the earth, and doesn't conform to a sphere, a globe, spinning, wobbling, gyrating, hurling through space at imaginary speeds. It's all, it's all science fiction, folks. Many of us know that. Well, if you hashtag reality exposes the global lie, this video will show up, hopefully. They're trying to censor my photo album a photo album that's designed to engage the hearts and the minds of whoever looks at it. People out here enjoying life, walking on the beach, all of that, all the various stages of life. Surfing, sleeping, walking pets. Wow, this is awesome. Starting over, fishing. New families, broken up families, all of it. It's all happening right here. That's part of the painful reality. Part of the painful reality of my life is it looks like my marriage is dissolving. My wife Joni is leaving me. She wants to live by our sons more than she wants to be my husband or be my wife. Oh well. I want to live by our sons too. I just want them to come here. See, part of the part of the dynamic. Um, what is the reality? Uh, the Bible talks about the man being the head of the household. A lot of women don't like that so much. So they'll look at the man and say, "Well, you're deceived by Satan." That's what I get. And I'll say, "Show me in Scripture." Good morning. How are you? Great. Thanks. Good to see y'all. Hi. And I'll, I'll say, well, go ahead and show me in Scripture where you believe I'm deceived by Satan. She won't do it. She can't do it because it's not there. The overwhelming evidence of the world that we live in is the earth doesn't move and the sun, moon, and stars do. That's the reality. Uh, so, in essence, rea reality exposes the deception. On my 9-11 truth um, group, 
I've got a, a video that's that you can click on. It's uh, the video for the group, and it's pinned to the top. Uh, talks about the 9/11, the impossibility of the events of the the official narrative of 9/11. A jet nose cone uh, gets dented up by geese. Yet apparently, on on September 11th of 2001, it was able to fly through a steel reinforced concrete structure, causing it to fall in its footprint at free fall speed. It's impossible, folks. It is not possible. That's why I'll take a camera like this, or this camera, and I'll take a picture of a video exactly where I want that. I took that and put it to my photo album. Do you know why they want to take my photo album down now? Yeah, if you cl click on a link of mine and it shows that it's not there, please comment that link not available, something like that. Uh, why do I love my own links? Why do I love my own posts? Well, quite frankly, I love what I do. It's pretty freaking awesome to not be afraid to live, die, or tell the truth and to actually be born again, not the religious hypocrite that I was. I love my own posts to see that they're actually there. When I click on a link that I try to share to a post and it says link was automatically deleted, well, hello, nobody can see it. I want people to see what I'm sharing. If I love it and it's not there, well, I gotta find another way. And I did. I did find another way. I hashtag stuff. I'll, I'll, like a, I'll make a page and ask uh, all my friends <clears throat> to like it. A lot of my friends are aware of all this stuff. The, the point is, when I, when I ask my network of friends to like a page, and they look at the page and what's there, and they decide, yep, I'm out of here. Uh, Robert doesn't believe we landed on the moon, live on a globe or we came from monkeys. Oh well, we still got the monkeys. There's no uh, lunar landing uh, material up on the globe or up on the, uh, the moon. I would be able to see it. And we don't live on a globe, nobody does. Even those that believe we do, they're just deceived. They're deceived and by irony and paradox, they don't know it. Oh, Elon Musk has uh, cast iron cojones. He's not afraid of bullies. Well, neither am I. I don't need to have a, a car factory and solar factories and, and sending space fake moon trips. He's a deceiver. He, he must know that we don't live on a globe. He must know that. Oh, well. I guess Joe Rogan believes I'm an idiot. Oh, well. Oh, well, I just consider the source. We don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Because differences in density and mass and the reality uh, does this. This isn't a, a special camera that, that shows an unreal version of our world. This is just showing you the reality of the world that we live in. And I'm acknowledging the, the God of the Bible, the creator of this world. That's why people get so upset. They want to do their own thing, and a God that has commands cramps their style. Oh well, deal with it. You're going you're gonna to deal with it eventually. The eternal perspective that I talk about is basically uh, we're all eternal beings having a temporary human experience. So there's a lot of questions that people ask about why this, why that on the flat earth. I would simply say research it and, and search for the truth with all your heart. Okay, the big show is over with the, um, with the, P9, or the P1000. I don't have much more to show you with that. So I'm going to sign off on that. And then I'm going to go uh, fully dedicated into the broadcast. I'll be right back.
Okay, so I had my uh, gear bag right there hanging on a, on a pier right there. You would think, well, that'd be okay, right? Well, you just watch what ends up happening to the water. It'll hit the piers and go flying. So I had to get it out of there. Uh, where's the moon now? I don't know. There's too much fog there, but it was there in the earlier in the broadcast, right? How about the sun? Where is that? Yeah, we can't see the sun. We can see a little bit of a bright spot there. If much more fog rolls in, we won't even see that. That's part of the reality, folks. That's why, that's, okay, people will say, well, if the Earth is flat, why can't we see Europe from the United States? Well, hello, what about fog? What about smoke? What about rain, snow, sleet, hail? What about it? What about humidity? So I wouldn't uh, hesitate to debate anybody. It's not that I'm the brightest bulb in the array. It's just that I've got reality on my side. I've got the truth of the reality of the world that we live in and the ability to articulate it in real time. That's part of the deal. Look at this. It's one of the reasons why I'm not going to leave this area. Joni wants to move to Wisconsin. This is sea level. We don't have sea level in Wisconsin. This, this year in 2018, approximately 20 million people were scheduled to come here in vacation. They spend billions of dollars to come here. For gosh sakes, when I just ride, go down to the end of the street or in our neighborhood at the Dollar General, there's people from all over the world that go there. They're coming in off of the road. Not, not so many now because Highway 9 is flooded out. We had a modified storm roll in. All the weather is modified. Not just Hurricane Florence. The weather is all modified. They're bouncing frequencies off of the, uh, off of the firmament. The earth is covered by a firmament that separates the waters from above from these waters below. Whether you like it or not, doesn't really matter. Uh, the, you know, here's the deal. The truth is the truth no matter how few people believe it, and a lie is still a lie no matter how many people believe it. Oh, some people will say, oh, how pathetic. You like your, you're the only person that liked your post in the in the flat earth versus sphere group <laughs> you can go to my shares on this oh man there's a lot of people that just love to hate me oh well i have a a, a special swagger i bring to the uh occasion for that i'll just go ahead and add more content that's what i'll do i create a lot of content because i can up, oh, where's that bright spot from the sun? Well, not so much now. Uh, the sun and the moon and the stars don't really indicate directly the shape of the earth. What, what you can notice, I hope, is when the sun is shining, it's shining right now. We just can't see it. It's like a laser beam that indicates uh, variations in the, in the surface high spots, low spots, like a laser beam on a construction site. That's the reality of that. Much more fog rolls in, we won't be able to see the end of the pier less than a thousand feet long. Oh, that's why we can't see Europe. For gosh sakes, I can't see, uh, I can't see more than a half a mile th any direction around here. How about that? I had a couple of videos yesterday. I didn't, I didn't say a word on them. I've got videos like that. Ah, people make fun of those too. Oh well, some people love them. I really, I, I want to emphasize, I really do appreciate the, the public and private encouragement. It's important and it's valuable. It makes a difference. Uh, because there's so many, uh, there's so much opposition out there. Now, in my uh, subscribers on YouTube, a lot of my subscribers 
have only a few subscribers to them. In fact, a lot of times the, the haters, the, the dissenters on, on, for me, uh, that attack me, have zero content and I'm their only subscriber. Huh. Is that artificial intelligence? What is that? Is that a fake account? A sock puppet account? Can the AI do that? Oh yeah, AI, what is it? Artificial intelligence? Um, this is my iPod, but I could, I could call my uh, credit card company with this and talk to an automated pay system and have a conversation with a computer automated system. Hello. They can chat, they can, uh, they can do the, the chat bot on us in social media. No problem with that, but it's not limited to that because there's a lot of deceived individuals. They don't know it and they just got to be right. They just got to be right and, and tell us how wrong and stupid we are. Well, I'm not wrong and I'm not stupid. Just deal with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not hiding behind a keyboard, right? Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> Not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth. There's a couple of flat earthers. I'm, we're all flat earthers, by the way. Uh, Cameron there with the longboard. He'll get some rides. And, and his brother over here. So one of the things that happens, I meet a lot of people out here doing what I do. And since I'm wearing the Eternal Perspective YouTube shirt, a lot of people go to my page, go to my channel, check it out. So even if you don't want to make uh, your own content like I do, and mine is a different kind of content. I'm not saying, I'm not saying I, I have the best content, not at all. What mine is basically an advertisement to seek the truth with all your heart. If you believe you love God, the God of the Bible, and that you're actually born again, I would encourage you to seek that out with all your heart. Because a lot of people, according to what Jesus says, or Yeshua, uh, if you want to use the Hebrew term for him, the Alpha and Omega, the living word, the the living water what he says is in Matthew 7 21 many will say on that day judgment day Lord Lord didn't we drive out demons work miracles and prophesy and he says away from me you evildoers I never knew you he knew who they were that's not what he meant he didn't know them intimately as his children they were Satan's children we're in a battle between God and Satan. If you're, a, if you're a real human being, and the reason why I say that is there's, there's other than human living amongst us, those that are uh, indwelt by demons, okay? Then the other thing is there's uh, hybrids and cloning and all that's going on. They didn't stop with Dolly the sheep. As in the days of Noah, well, we're living in them right now. There's a lot going on here. So this Facebook video will be converted to a YouTube video, and then I'll be able to hashtag it and then comment. It'll show up. And it's meant to direct traffic to my YouTube channel. What I was going to say for, for people that want to reach out and and give humanity the truth what you believe the truth to be all you need to do is like a video and it's added to your liked video playlist I can subscribe to 2,000 channels that's the limit when I have when I click on 2001 one falls off we can subscribe to 100 channels per day and then the system will lock me out from handing out any more or adding any more subscriptions. It's kind of like a, hey, how you doing? 
I like your content or I see you hating on me. Either way, I want them to learn from I want to learn from them or want them to learn from me and ultimately from the God who created this world that we live in. The battle is between God and Satan, his child, Satan's children and God's children. The awesome news is that all of God's children will absolutely be born of his spirit and uh, that's that's great news. So there there won't be people in hell because you or I didn't say the right thing or do the right thing. It's not our choice. It's not, you know what? It's not their choice either according to scripture because all the names were of God's children were put in the Lamb's Book of Life before the foundation of the world. Well, wait, God knows everything. He knew. I get that from people. Well, go to the Gospel of John. Here's what it says. They were born of the Spirit, not the decision of man. Not the decision of man. Should I say that a few more times? I got another one for you. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says, They refused to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. So it's beyond a satanic deception. Satan will use who and what he can. God uses it all, including Satan, the fallen angels, Satan's children. He uses all of it for his glory. He works it all together for his purposes. I was part of the deception. Joni and I homeschooled our, ch our sons. There are three adult sons now. However, we promoted the global lie, unaware that it was a lie. It's just what happened. Okay, let's pan around to just show you what this looks like right now. A lot of water got in the building there. They're still drying it out. They'll get a lot of new carpet and there's a lot of dehumidifiers in there. Creating the, um, well, they'll use uh, dehumid dehumidifiers. The, the water cycle of the world <clears throat> is part of the reality. The evaporation, condensation, and precipitation in all its forms. Do you know what a gallon of water weighs? It depends on temperature. The volume of, of water changes with temperature. You should know that. That's a big deal. That temperature differential drives the whole hydrologic cycle. That water that evaporates, condenses, and comes back down like we had happen with what was called Hurricane Florence. It was rain that we have never, I've never seen that much rain in this area since I've been here. Apparently nobody else did, but keep in mind, there was a flood that covered the face of the earth. It's the flood that Noah prepared for. It covered to over the tops of all the mountains. How much water can you get to stick on a, on a ball, spinning or not? Well, what about gravity? It's an unproven theory, just so you know. If somebody whips out gravity and says we live on a globe, they're deceived. <laughs> you can know that. If they're, if they're all excited about going to heaven, they love Jesus, they're serving in the church, they're, they're feeding the homeless and all that, and they've looked in to biblical cosmology, they've looked into the flat earth, and they still believe we're on a globe, they're still deceived. Are they deceived about being born again too? Because remember, I'm the guy that keeps on saying, I thought I was born again until I was actually born again. I thought I was born again over 30 years ago. I was a religious hypocrite for all that time and didn't know it. I knew I had a secret life that I was hiding. I thought I was born again though. I just thought that the Christian life was a bigger struggle in a different way than it actually is. It might appear that there's friendly fire, like like the 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 little the little lady uh, serving cookies at the church. She might turn into like the Mr. Smith on the Matrix if you mention about vaccinations 
or 9-11 was an inside job, or we didn't land on the moon. We're living in a world filled with programmed individuals. I believe it's a, this is all very real, and it's really important to get it right. It's just that the, the humanity that is yielding themselves to a, a constant diet of programming for the going into the eyes, the ears, and then, uh, and then what their memories are retrieving because they're bumping into other programmed individuals at the water cooler, at the job. Yeah. If you're, dig if you're digging ditches for a living, uh, you can probably uh, talk about, yeah, we didn't land on the moon and we don't live on a globe. If you work for NASA and you start saying that, or the CIA, or the FBI, or the FAA, or you're a pilot, if you're high up in this, uh, in this system, uh, you'll have to find another job, or maybe you'll even be eliminated from this life experience. Three people per second no longer have the human experience. They transition. They won't be able to decide anymore. See, this, uh, this being born again is the illusion of choice. And uh, I'll tell you what, that, what I mean by that. Okay, so <clears throat> it, it appears that we make a decision to, uh, to believe that God is real. That's apparent. Because Scripture clearly says that it's impossible to believe God apart from his grace, his unmerited favor. He causes his children to believe the truth of his word. Satan's children aren't going to have that benefit. I feel sorry for them. So, in essence, if somebody is hating on Christians and they believe we live on a globe and they're all hatred is being spewed out on, on people that are exposing the, or the reality of the Bible, they may be the spawn of Satan. I feel sorry for him for that. It's not my fault. I didn't cause it to happen. And I'm doing my best to hand out with God empowering me, the God who created this world, empowering me to hand out the invitation for eternity to all of humanity. That's why I do this. The water covers the face of the earth. How about that? We're at sea level. A friendly game of billiards, playing pool or marbles, wouldn't work on a globe. I'm going to get some marbles and show you some marbles on the beach. That's one of my next things. I'll maybe even bring a few billiard balls out here. Oh, I've had some people say, well, all the other planets are round. Why is the Earth not round? Well, they're round, says who? I've got a telescope with a camera, and the moon is definitely not a sphere. I've got video and photographic proof for that. I've got video and photographic proof that the globe is impossible. When I show you reality like this, that's enough. It's enough for me. I know we're not on a globe. And I know that people that believe we are, are deceived. That's why sometimes I'll just let a video like this run. I don't know if you can see all the fish activity there, but there's a lot of fish. A lot of little ones. I've seen shark out here. I feel a little uncomfortable in the water during feeding time. That's what this is, by the way. Since we had the flooding, uh, this looks almost like coffee out here. A lot of, uh, a lot of fresh water has been uh, coming on out here. But it's not just fresh water. <clears throat> it's, it's water that has uh, different uh, contaminants in it, too, like uh, decomposing 
leaves and trees and, and stuff. That's why it's a, a darker water. Ah, there's one of our beach services uh, uh, law enforcement surfer guys. Cool. You know, what's really interesting is that I get a chance to meet a lot of fascinating people from all over the world. There's no upside down surfers in Australia, eh? So it's, to be clear, it's differences in density and mass that cause things to float or fall. So even, even your shopping cart, you're taking your groceries out to your car, depending on where it is, that parking lot where your car is parked may be sloped enough where you've got to put it up against your car or hold on to it or it'll roll away. On these uh, balconies, uh, typically they're they're sloped down. The car will roll. The cart will roll right away from you. So roadways, railroads, parking lots, they're all with that in mind. A car, a car, or a locomotive or a ship could not navigate eight inches per mile to the square not possible. Reality is that that would not work. So I drove from here to California coast to coast and uh, in 2300 miles there's over 650 miles of missing curvature. I averaged 55 miles to the gallon, confirmed it with my odometer, verified it with fuel added, and when I got to a grade, um, a grade of a mountain, the Smokies or the Rockies, a five to seven percent grade, my fuel economy went into the, the low to mid teens. There's no way I could have averaged 55 MPG with my modified diesel Volkswagen. Very powerful. Diesel is very amazing. Okay, here we've got buoyancy right there. It's all over the place, but I mean, it's really obvious with uh, the man standing on the board there. So would it be possible for somebody to be paddle boarding on a spinning, wobbling, gyrating, oblate spheroid? No. Nope. Not possible. Not reality. Undoubtedly, this is going to make a lot of people angry. Good. Good. What people will it make angry? Well, I believe those that want to believe the lie they want to believe. Look at him shredding on that wave. You ever see that? With the paddle board? I think that's way cool. See, they're, they're a good bit bigger than the smaller boards. So, uh, buoyancy, B-U-O-Y-A-N-C-Y. Did you know how to spell it? Well, it's important to know how to spell it correctly and hashtag it. And you can hashtag gravity. Hashtag... Uh, if I'm going to hashtag gravity, I'm typically going to put hashtag gravity in question mark. I've gotten creative with the hashtags in the titling of my YouTube videos, so I can. it's like a little digital bait out there. I'm fishing for people that are searching for the truth. I hope you are too. Now keep in mind, you may be aware of a lot of the actual conspiracies. A conspiracy, some people say it's not all a conspiracy. 
Well, there's more conspiracy than not, or at least there's a, a lot of it. A conspiracy is two or more people conspiring to perform an illegal act. Oh well. Do you think the government lies and does illegal things? I know they do. I've got proof of it. The, the monetary system is the biggest Ponzi scheme in the world, ever. The military industrial complex of the world, not just the United States. For those of you who may still be embarrassed to be a, a U.S. citizen, let me get out of the way there. <laughs> cool. I'm, I'm not embarrassed to be a U.S. citizen. It's the, the shadow government of the world, the deep state, that's choreographing all of this uh, carnage, the deception. It's not just the United States. It's all of them, basically. But there's a, I should say there's a new heaven and a new earth that'll be uh, coming. Check this out. Did you know that water is combustible? Well, liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen uh, can burn. A water torch, HHO, hydrogen and oxygen. It can melt rock and cut steel. There's a fire coming. It's talked about in scripture. Uh, there's not gonna be a, another flood like the great flood. Uh, he's going, God, who created this world, is going to create a new heaven and a new earth after this one is destroyed by fire. That's biblical. That's part of the reality. Okay, so the other thing is the flood that Noah prepared for um, basically had multiple water sources. We had the fountains of the deep, the floodgates of heaven, and he caused it to start raining. Three water sources. That's a lot of water. Where did it all go? Well, where God put it. A lot of water on the other side of the firmament, from what I understand. So can you handle the truth? Are you a truth seeker? I hope so. I'm connected with um, a lot of people on Facebook and YouTube. And basically, because of my uh, appearance at the last Flat Earth Conference in uh, North Carolina, I've been seen over 20 million times saying we don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity, well, hello, it's just water seeking its level. And then the other thing is, you don't feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or gyrating, do you? Or who's behind, they're lying, and I ain't buying. Those three sound bites have been heard by a lot of people. Who's they, Brady from HBO says. Well, Satan, and more. Basically, Everybody that's deceived and perpetuating the deception. Ultimately, Satan and his family are those that are unfortunately the most deceived. He was cast out of heaven and God used him to corrupt humanity and provide the need for the redemption that the creator of this world, known as Yahweh in Hebrew, the God of the Bible, um, well, he created the redemption that we need. That's what this is all about. Woohoo! Great day for surfing. It actually is.
Wow. <laughs> And a lot of these guys will go to my channel to see if they're on their shot. They know I'm doing this. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to, I'm going to let this roll for a little while. And I'm going to move some stuff around, take some pictures, and just let you enjoy the beauty of this. Good morning. Oh yeah, some good waves today.
All right, so one of the things that I would like to um, have you consider, just from um, if you're looking into this and you're not sure whether or not we live on a globe, how would this work on a globe? It, it doesn't have to. The water does this. So it does fill the container and water does curve just like that on the bottom. That's kind of hard to see, but it'll pour right off of a globe. You can't fill a globe up with five and a half more miles of water to cover all the mountains. You sure can on a, on a flat earth. It just fills its container. I don't know how big the puddle is that covers the face of the earth, but for those that have believed they've circumnavigated the globe, they just went in a big circle with uh, north in the middle. That's all. You can go east or west. Can't go over the, uh, you can't go around the bottom. And as far as satellite imagery, hello, it's just aerial photography. You can't see the definition of your mailbox or your car in your driveway on Google Earth from hundreds of miles away. It's not possible. It's not possible, folks. I'm just trying to help you to understand the reality of the world that we live in. And that reality basically exposes the global lie. So the, the, the Bible is basically, um, the biblical cosmology is a stationary earth with the sun and the moon and stars moving above it. As important as it is to know that, and the reason it's important, it means that the communication system of the world, including most of the churches or those that believe they're representing the Bible, are unknowing participants of the deception, deception or, or they actually know they're deceivers. I'm not a 501c3 uh, outreach. I never will be. I have no connection with the tax-exempt status ministry. I'm not asking for money, anything like that. It would change everything that I do. I don't monetize my channel. I simply share the truth of God's Word to the ends of the earth around the clock, and uh, I enjoy doing that. Wow, they keep getting some more good rides. See, as this uh, water moves towards us, the, the tide is coming in, is what it is. I'm going to refresh my, uh, my iPod and let you know what it says the uh, uh, timing of the tides will be. High tide today is 9.23 a.m., a 5.3 foot tide. Now, last night the high tide was 9.11. I remember it a year ago at 9-11. How could we forget? How could I forget 9-11? That was part of my wake-up call when I realized that they were lying about that. So there you go. That's, a, that's about it for today. Um, reality exposes the global lie. Feel free to uh, check out my pages. I've got multiple pages to expose the reality of the world that we live in. Thanks for your likes and shares.